Hello guys, welcome to this video. And today I present you the game Noita. And this game is so epic. Uh, I just got it because it got released yesterday and it's early access and normally I don't buy games that are early access or just released. I mean I buy early access games, but you get you get me. And Noita is a very awesome game because it's uh, Every pixel that you see here is being simulated. Every pixel. And this game is also physics. It's a physics based game. So, as you can see when I walk into it, you can see like the water moves. That's basically all the physics. And you can also see little particles. And what's also nice about this game is, you know, just that it's physics based and, you know, things that are heavy, that they move, you know, and I'm going to show all of that to you in a minute. So, let's do this, boys. So, this is already the first place where I can show you the physics of this game. If I shoot at these, I don't know. I'm gonna call them stone pillars. You can see, you saw that little crack? And because of the weight of that stone, uh, the fucking... The, the lamp broke. Here, I can show you it again. What, what's this actually? Oh, yeah, you can kick things. <laughs> and the kicking is kind of ridiculous, but still, it's pretty, pretty satisfying to do it. Here, you can see that. You, did you hear that? This uh, the little bit of stone landed on the lamp and it made a sound. That's the weight of the pixels of the items that fall down on the lamp, and it, it's so goddamn cool. And you might be wondering. I mean, it's pretty. You don't need explanation for that, but the reason why it's on fire right now is because you see this brown here. This little brown part, that is oil. And obviously, in real life, if you shoot at something that has oil on it, it gets on fire. If you throw fire on it, it goes to fuck. Let me show you the next bit of physics in this game. So, let me turn the sound a bit down. But here is the next part of... Uh, of uh, physics in this game so you see this that I'm gonna call this a silo and if you put a ah if you put a bomb under this it will fall down because of the weight look at that it fell down you can still see the pillar over here I don't know what this one does but it's nice and you see this one is falling down and because it's on fire it's going to ash uh, it's very nice and here you already got the next part of physics so you can kick this and I mean you see it's moving and you know and I know games that don't have this sort of stuff in it I see this is buried, so let me kick this out of it. Oh, never mind. That's that's a nice touch to the game, eh? Oh yeah, here you got another one of this. No, I don't know, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is coal. And, of course, fire on coal. That burns. I think. <laughs> let me... Let me go to the next part of physics. At least if I can find it, and otherwise I'll go to the next part of the game. The ones and the potions. This right here is also a little nice touch. You see here a body of a dead skeleton. And there he goes. It's such a nice touch because obviously because of the way it it flies away and directly sunks down in here you see it's cool. That's very nice. I, I'm, I'm in love with this game, man. <laughs> and I can't 
I can't wait for the new updates. This is something I noticed while playing and while looking for some stuff for you guys to enjoy. It's that I don't need to keep him up or above the water. Also, a nice little thing is that whenever you grab something like the wands, sometimes it has a trap. You can see your electricity in the water. I'm pretty sure soon. Oof. Alright, well, rip that. But, and then you see here, my body directly to the bottom. This is also a nice feature is that you can throw your potion, but you can also, uh, if you right click with your manas, you can also just do a little spray. What am I? Oh, come on now. Bro, oh, it's a teleportation potion. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that's also nice. If if you hit that slime monster, he will leak uh, slime or whatever it is. But you can also throw the potion, and then there will be a bunch of water, which is also a nice touch. And you'll just teleport whenever you're in it. And I don't know where I'm right now. Oh, here's another potion. I can. Sh oh, God damn it. Well, I don't know where I'm now, but. Wanna so right now I'll be talking about the ones. So whenever you uh, whenever you start your game, you you'll always begin with these two ones. This is just your regular uh, your regular one. Oh, Shan, as as you saw, I just shoot. They got them. It's a nice touch. Oh damn, you see that? And physics, shit. It's like over this, but it's only in the background, but I... Let's skip that. But uh... Anyways... Bruh. The ones. When... <laughs> so... You have this one, but you also have this one, this uh, spell cast so bomb. And uh, yes, it does so much nice stuff to a, uh, to a skeleton. And I like the physics in this game when the bomb explodes too. Because of the heat, it will boil or whatever it's doing. Uh, it's so nice. And now I'm back. And also, what's also a very nice touch is that whenever you can uh, cover your body with blood of your enemies, and that causes you to uh, catch on fire less. So, let me. Well, now I won't really be able to do it, but it's a, it's a nice feature. So yeah. And about the ones, I'll show you other ones when I find them. So yeah, I just used the potion and it turned me into a fucking sheep. So I found a wand and whenever you are playing, you'll find different types of wands. One time you'll find a wand that shoots wands too and other, other times you'll find a, a wand that shoots arrows like this one. And other times you'll find a a fast shooting one like it's a machine gun it's very 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 fun and it apparently one shots the skeleton so that's nice oh and I <laughs> let's throw a oh never mind oh wait also you have these bombs and radioactive shit they shoot them, they explode, and then 
you can do beautiful things like this to stuff so that's all I'm gonna say about this game uh, the rest you should explore for yourself and I, I haven't gone that deep into the game itself too just gonna say every every part has a different biome because when when you reach a certain point of this biome for example you'll uh, you'll reach a portal and you can go in the portal in a portal you can heal yourself and when you get out of it you get into a new biome and it's, it's pretty well done so I'm sorry if this video was a bit of a mess because I'm trying new ways you know uh, today is the first time I'm gonna try to edit with uh, Vegas and I haven't watched any tutorials yet so that's gonna be quite interesting and I hope you guys like this video good bye